We are live with week two of the Boston College Eagles Dynasty mode. And right off the bat, I'm going to apologize for this horrible gameplay. You could probably already see the lag and the crappy quality we have here. And I it's something with my streaming device, OBS. I have to fix the lag problems as you see here. And it wouldn't let me download this unless... <laughs> and that's a horrible throw by A.J. Brown as he gets intercepted. So it wouldn't let me download... Um, uh, this game plan unless I reduce the quality but we do end up scoring a touchdown here take the lead 7 nothing in the first quarter and yeah this looks like it was filmed on a potato um, problem is the next two games I already recorded here's a nice throw by that quarterback a very good quarterback I don't even know he's believe not even above an 83 pretty sure and he just was a beast this game and they score uh, some touchdowns even were deleted, like the film wouldn't show up, so that, I'm really sorry. So yeah, it's tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, yeah, I, big run from A.J. Dillon here. Gets, uh, gets downfield for a nice gain. But uh, yeah, so next two games have a little bit of lag, but the quality I believe is much better. So that's going to be at least better, I guess, uh the only thing better about it there's a nice throw by AJ Brown uh here it's it's already tied 4 14 14 and we take the lead 21 14 nice rush by AJ Dillon yeah Dillon's been really the MVP I don't even know what that cut scene was right there I'm sorry um I tried to do a live commentary it wouldn't let me the it's laggy even more laggy with that and it, the voice doesn't sound that great it's it's a mess um here we get another touchdown tommy sweeney our big option as the uh score i believe is tied no it's gonna be tied yeah <laughs> nice run by the running back to tie it up 28 28 this was a very very fun game i think all the games i played this year been very fun and I upgraded the time as you can see eight minute uh eight minute quarters and it's a lot more action packed and there's another interception by AJ Brown. He just sometimes he looks great, other times he looks horrible. That was just a bad read. And here they're gonna kick a field goal to uh take the lead thirty one to twenty eight. Um Wake Forest was a uh they were a tough team. They definitely were uh, we're going to see how this one ends, but the Eagles really, this was a really tough game for us. So here they, uh, go on to, uh, take the lead, I believe, or, yeah, they take the lead here, 38-35, and the next play, this is the, they don't show it, because they got deleted, next play, we scored a touchdown on a kick return, and then they were driving, we intercepted the ball there, uh, we didn't do anything, I think we got a field goal with it. Um, I think we got a field goal with it, and then, yeah, then they weren't able to do anything when they got the ball again. But uh, A.J. Perry did not have the best game, or A.J. Brown, rather, three interceptions. We brought on the sophomore, and this is our quarterback. He did very good, uh, only an 80 overall. He was pretty good, though. And they, they run a funky little offense that was effective against the Eagles, and uh, it was definitely a tough game. AJ Dillon, you know, he did his thing the whole time. Um, he's been he's been our MVP. He's gonna be our MVP. He has to be in ninety six overall. He's got to live up to that hype, um, and hopefully we can keep him for senior year. Tommy Sweeney also another big piece on the offense, but uh, I apologize sincerely for this horrible gameplay. That's why the video is only five minutes long, and also the audio got cut out too. So just go figure. It was a horrible experience. Um, here's our scouting. We really were trying to go after, um, so yeah, we tried getting this middle linebacker, but uh, this quarterback's very interesting, a four-star. We'd like to get another quarterback. It's never a bad thing to have too many. This running back we're in a, in a tight battle for. Um, also, I don't know if it's going to show. Yeah, this five-star wide receiver, Nick Webb, one of the best. I think he is the best wide receiver in all of scouting available. It's going to be very hard for us to get him, but I think it's worth it. Some uh, some linemen we're interested in getting. 
on both sides of the ball. Um, just getting a well-rounded class is what I'm looking for. This middle linebacker is a, a must-have. We need a nice middle linebacker for the future as we have some older ones. And even some safety help we could use. But um, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you, boys.